How you doing guys? My name is Tiberius. We are here at the Tactical Games up in Dalton, New Hampshire. I'm going to go through my kit, what I wear, and what I use for the Tactical Games. There's a lot of good gear out there, but this is the stuff that I've kind of decided to use. Uh, the battle belt I use is from Snake Eater Tactical. It's a, a three-part belt. The reason I like this is because you're at the Tactical Games, there's a ton of running and burpees and all sorts of physical events, and this really, really stays placed. If you have a single layer battle belt, it's going to be jumping and moving around on you a lot, and that's just not... Uh, it's not gonna be very comfortable and easy. You also wanna make sure whatever magazine pouches you rock, they have very good retention, because again, as you're running and doing burpees and God knows what else they have planned for us this weekend, you don't want anything to fall out. Um, you, you need to retain all your magazines, so I rock a, a dump pouch just for this event. So as I take the empty magazines out, I just throw them in the dump pouch instead of trying to fit them back in the magazine pouch. Last thing I have on here is a Safari Land holster. I normally use just regular Kydex holsters, but once again, we're running and jumping and God knows what else, so I wanted that extra retention of a Kydex holster. So that's my battle belt setup. As far as my plate carrier, so your plate carrier, depending on what division you're in, has certain weight requirements. I'm in the intermediate division. It has to weigh at least 15 pounds slick without any of the magazines. So this one here is from Prime Armor. Uh, the plates I have in here are from HESCO because again, I had to meet that 15 pound requirement. Um, tons of good plate carriers out there. Uh, I like this one just because of the padding. There's a lot of good padding in here. And if I'm running a uh, three mile run in just about an hour here, I want that extra padding on my plate carrier. Uh, as far as my rifle, this here is just kind of a beater rifle, uh, Frankenstein rifle, something I built. I shoot this rifle more than any of my other rifles, so I'm most comfortable with it, I use it the most, and that's why I chose to use this rifle. Um, the bolt is an aero precision bolt, the barrel is a ballistic advantage bolt, trigger is a hyper fire trigger, so all the parts that really matter are very, very high quality, but um, whatever you're most comfortable with and whatever's most reliable is what matters there. Optics is always the hard choice here because you don't know exactly how far you're shooting out. So I went with the red dot with a magnifier. In this event, I kind of wish I had a low power variable optic, but I'll make the best shooting out a couple hundred yards with this. And then I have an Inforce WMLX on here. Uh, I don't think I'll be needing it at this event, but I always leave my lights on my guns. Last but certainly not least, my pistol. This is my baby. This is my SIG X5 Legion. Um, I think for a, a polymer gun or any competition gun without spending two or three grand, this is definitely one of the best options. It has the extra weight like an old steel gun, but it's still polymer. And uh, you know, for that thousand dollar ish that they cost, uh, it's a very, very good option for something competition based, something like this. Um, so that's pretty much my loadout for the games. Uh, tactical games is great for anyone. You don't have to be an elite athlete. I am far from an elite athlete. There's, there's divisions for everybody, male, female, novice, expert, everything in between. Um, so if you're interested in doing it, don't be afraid. Just come out and give it a try. It's a blast. Um, if you want to check out my content, I do a lot of gun and gear reviews, mostly on YouTube, but also on Instagram. My name is Tiberius Gibb. It's T I B. E-R-I-O-U-S, and my last name is G-I-B. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.